Less than six months ago, savvy shoppers were anxiously awaiting the Canadian arrival of the American retailer giant, Target. People lined up on opening day for the brands and the bargains, once only available south of the border, and other big box stores feared the American retail giant would take away their customers. But as Francis Silvaggio reports, it seems Target Canada has missed the mark. When Target opened its first Canadian store almost five months ago, there was big hype and even bigger expectations. Are you happy with what Target has turned out to be? No, not really. How come? Really expensive, <coughs> high prices, <coughs> overpriced sellers pretty much. What I went for, they have, it's out of stock. They're supposed to have it, but it's out of stock. So I don't know what that says. The U.S. retail giant's growing pains were clearly evident in a new survey that showed Costco, another American chain, leading the nation in customer satisfaction with 62%, Walmart a distant second at 40%, and Target, the worst-rated box store in the country, with just 27% of happy customers. They have to pull up their socks. You know, what, when, you, when you think, basically, when 10 people come out of a Target store, 7, seven out of 10 are not going to be very happy, so they need to improve on that. Business experts say Target's problems stem from increased and stronger Canadian competition and the fact that most Canadians are well aware of what the Target franchise looks like in the U.S. I think it's a combination of the two. High expectations on the consumer side, perhaps unrealistically high at the beginning, and perhaps um, uh, a com not a full and complete understanding uh, by Target management, who had never been in Canada before, of the difficulties of doing business in the Canadian retail market. Target officials admit they are on a bit of a learning curve, but are optimistic they're on the right track. Part of what we're doing now is building up historical data, so really understanding how Canadian guests shop, what they're looking for, what we need to do to replenish the stores and to deliver the kind of service that they're looking for. With 68 stores already open, the company hopes to have the right formula in place by the time they double their Canadian footprint. And despite frustrations, Canadian customers don't appear willing to write them off just yet. I still like it. It's still there's different stuff than what you find other places and prices are still reasonable. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Calgary.